Alright, hey what's up guys, Nerds aka Joe, and right now we're playing some CTF here, but it's just my audio file got a little bit corrupt, so... I'm gonna be doing a voiceover over it, and basically in this video I was planning on one, releasing a CTF video, because I haven't done one of those in a while, and two, I wanted to talk about the new content I was planning on uploading. So as I mentioned in the other purchase video, I managed to get my graphics card to work, so... It allows me to be able to play a few different games and record those games in decent amount of frames, because I did have Overwatch on this computer, but I didn't have good enough frames to record it or even play it like sufficiently on good graphics. However, on the other computer, it's a decent graphics card to where I can actually run the game perfectly and have it in decent graphics and even record it so I can, I can make uploads on Overwatch. So that's one thing I also plan on releasing to the channel too. I plan on releasing more Champions videos because I actually play Champions a lot now. And I will continue releasing Virtus videos for example. I did ask in the comments below on the most recent one. If you guys would be willing to watch a live stream that I may do on not this Friday because I'll be gone on the 13th to around the 18th. So I won't be on all week. I'll be out of town and if the update does come out that week, I won't, obviously won't be able to stream it, so maybe I'll be streaming it the, the following Friday, because I remember reading that forum post, they said something about it interfering with the tournament, so they probably wouldn't do it. Because I imagine a lot of people wouldn't be able to get used to kit upgrades and all that before the tournament, and I mean during the tournament. And it definitely will put some strain on the teams that don't have the super experienced Bridges players that have like a ton of Bridges wins and like decent kit levels and everything. So it'd just be an unfair advantage overall. And also <laughs> with CTF, it's just a game that I play a lot. And I'm thinking about collabing with a few YouTubers that play it. And I'm even thinking about uploading some other videos on different servers because there's this one game that I actually like playing on Hive that I think they actually have Hypixel now. So I'm gonna try it on there and see how it works. And yeah, there's just a few different games I'm gonna be uploading. And I did have to do a voiceover because like I mentioned, my audio files got corrupted. Hopefully I can fix that, but the Overwatch videos, once I get comfortable with the game, really confident with it, I think I'll start uploading some of those videos. And possibly I'll be thinking about doing live streams, but that's, I'm just getting ahead of myself right now to see if I even get that kind of feel for the game to where I could do that type of thing. But when I do make these Overwatch videos and do make these Overwatch streams, if I do do it, I want to be entertaining. I want to have good commentary where you guys can actually enjoy the content and it's not just me playing the game and it's just you watching me play it. So that's part of the reason why if some of you follow the BOTB live streams, I help create commentate as much as I could. Simply because I want to get better at it and two, um, because I just want it to be interesting to like watch some of those matches and give some feedback. Give some feedback and kind of analyze the game and let people that probably haven't seen any Bridges scrims or anything of that nature like really be immersed in it to where they can actually understand everything in the game. But yeah, I do plan on uploading some more Bridges videos because I know that's what you guys love. Some more Champions videos because I know I love playing that and I feel like I can put a positive energy as much as I put for Bridges onto Champions because it's a game I play a lot. And as long as I don't get saltier, I might make some kind of. As I've seen from some YouTubers, they're called like Rage Dodges or <laughs> Rage Montages because I actually do get really upset this game. Holy crap. So I've just definitely got a lot of things planned in the future and I look forward to being able to push some of that content out. Thank you guys for the substantial amount of growth. I'm definitely going to be doing something special for 3K. Because I do have a special computer, I have a lot more opportunity to live stream for you guys too. So I might start live streaming a bit more too. And yeah, you guys won't have the stupid cropping that I've been dealing with for the past three months. And you won't have the backup on videos because Camtasia's having problems. Because yeah, this app is really giving me problems. All around, I was able to produce better content for you guys and newer content as I really feel like I should be. It's 2017. You, and I should have, holy crap. And I know I'm kind of late on resolutions for 2017, but this could be a resolution to pump out there and to get some better content and definitely more content because literally it's become a meme <laughs> that I don't upload as much as I used to and as much as I should. So I definitely have the people that support me and I feel really bad that I haven't been able to push that type of stuff out. And I really don't want to be neglecting to that audience. I really want to push some videos out for you guys so you guys can enjoy. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. It's already gone for long enough. This is Nerds telling you to stay awesome. Subscribe, of course. Have a nice game.